The puppet can be quite the terrifying animatronic, despite them seemingly trying to be a good guy. But nevertheless, that didn't stop people from making the puppet even more terrifying. And you know what? That's that's what we're gonna talk about today, because some of these need to be seen by not just me, so that you can all suffer with me. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're exploring today. Let's do it. Eight ten, the scrap puppet. I don't know why, but like every version of the puppet that's intended to really be scary gives me the heebie-jeebies. And like this was only like a concept and like a fan art and didn't actually appear in any of the game, but that's not the criteria, okay? This isn't top 10 scary FNAF alternate fan puppets that appeared in games, no, it's just fan animatronics. And while some people may not be able to make a game from their creations, they can still draw them and still give me nightmares for all eternity, okay? But this, this is the most tame out of the bunch today. <laughs> the scrap puppet was created by TFE Arts on DeviantArt and is really giving me some venom symbiote vibes with all the tendrils coming off of their back. They are clearly meant to be present in FNAF 6 since, you know, they're at the review table and the only time we see scrap animatronics outside of Ultimate Custom Night is FNAF 6, so this is clearly meant to be the start of a jump scare while trying to salvage them, which is a whole other reason why it's terrifying. And the glowing green eyes are creepy, okay? And, and overall, just the ruined look really sets me on edge, okay? Like, especially when this man is very clearly juicing. Look at those pecs. In at 9, blank. The blank animatronics animatronic from Five Nights at Candy's and Five Nights at Candy's Remastered is actually very unique in concept, no doubt being inspired by Mangle, but it's like Mangle and the puppet merged into one being, or at least in my mind that's how it feels. And you know what, that makes it good enough for this list. Blank is a drawing attraction that is meant for children to write and draw whatever they want on its body, so technically they could draw the puppet tears, okay, so it counts. Over time the animatronic is obviously withered down, and the withered version from the second game is probably what we're going to be focusing on for this number. The withered Blank is the most withered out of any of the animatronics. All of the suit parts seem to be damaged in one way or another. The large part of the left side of their head is gone, exposing an endoskeleton, and the left forearm and upper right arm are missing exoskeletons as well. While his right forearm is just gone. <laughs> Uh, that's my left, but for you it's right, I'm pretty sure. That's how that works, I think. But all suit parts below his knees are gone as well, and there are like two holes in his torso, and one of the holes exposes endoskeleton, because you know, the more endoskeleton, the worse it is. His texture isn't white anymore, and it's rather more of a gray, kind of like the shirt you forgot to wash that it just isn't the same anymore. Uh, unless you use today's sponsor, I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> Blank can also be seen unwithered in the first minigame, and appears to be uh, the same as he was in the first game's minigame, but in the Night 6 second minigame, the player can actually see his original appearance when he actually can be drawn on. Human whiteboard. That's not human, but robot. He's a smart board. In a crazed shadow puppet. So there are actually a whole series of these like shadow animatronics and I love them. But for some reason they kind of remind me of like Bendy and the Ink Machine vibes. I don't know, maybe it's like the wash of insanity or maybe it's all like the drip dripping ink like look kind of like on their faces. Um, but yeah, it's definitely given me Bendy vibes, okay? Crazed Shadow Puppet is probably my favorite of all these crazed shadow animatronics and we, we can actually kind of see that it's not, it, it, there's something disturbed about its grinning, okay? Why it has wide eyes, and if you look closer, you can see like the puppet faceplate cracked as, as well. Okay, it's a whole basket case, and you know what? I relate. This is how I feel on the inside, and you know what? Having to look at my demons, that's terrifying. Terrifying enough to earn you a spot on this list. And it's 7, Vinny. Vinny is, is kind of like the counterpart uh, to the FNAF 2 puppet, but in Five Nights at Candy's, okay? And just like their FNAF 2 counterpart, he has a white face, unlike the puppet actually has has a sad face, or like a sad facial expression. He has dark purple lines around his mask, blue cheeks as opposed to the original pink or red ones, I guess. Uh, Vinny's lips are also blue, which gives him an overall gloomy feel, especially with the frown, but also concerningly reminds me of Riverdale Season 3. And while I did like some aspects of that season, this isn't the part that it's reminding me of. Also, uh, like his normal FNAF series counterpart, he has a skinny body with long limbs and three long slender fingers on each hand. Vinny also has the same eye shape as his FNAF counterpart, which makes him kind of look angry when seen from certain angles. In FNAF 3, Vinny appears in the minigames as his normal version, uh, while not appearing in the main gameplay itself, though his monstrous manifestation, which we'll go into later, is the final antagonist of the game on Night 6. In the Fishing with Candy's glitch minigame while at the FNAF 2 Freddy's location, Mary reaches into a room where the puppet was performing, and upon seeing it, it reminds her of Vinny. Just then, all of the kids in the room start to fade away, and the puppet then distorts 
rapidly into Vinny, which is just weird, and I don't I don't want to think about it. And it's six glam rock puppet. Okay, every time I make a list discussing creepy animatronics, the puppet makes its way onto it, so I figured I might as well just do a list and hopefully it won't show its ugly head again. But you know what? That's not gonna happen. And a glam rock puppet is actually from a previous list. Um, because this is just freaky. And while I do feel like the phone guy whenever I call the puppet creepy, uh, that's because it is creepy. And the glam rock puppet is no exception. This character wasn't originated in the Fury's Rage minigame like I figured. But instead, it's just a separate design that no matter what, just looks like it wants to bring me to the back of the pizza joint and show me how the pepperoni gets put on the pizza. And no, I don't mean literally. Yes, that was a reference. Um, and not only does it come with its own creepy concept art, but it also comes with Minecraft skins because of course it does. It also comes with loads of trauma, apparently. This is one of the weirdest versions of the puppet, not taking into account other versions that will appear later on this list, including the next number. But this is like the, the, the fourth weirdest, but like the sixth scariest, you know? So like, it, it, it feels wrong to me, okay? It, it, it does, plus the whole pepperoni thing, although it probably wants salami or bratwurst. I went through it in number five, Reaper Puppet. Ah yes, my old nemesis. The Reaper Puppet, if you didn't know, was the first fan animatronic ever featured on this channel in the top 10 scary FNAF animatronics list ages ago. <laughs> the first FNAF video by me on this channel was actually on January 29th, 2020. Can you believe that? Ah, oh, and the video I'm talking about actually came out a month later on February 24th, 2020. So I have a long history with this character. The Reaper Puppet along with Shadow Bonnie and the brother from Final Nights 1 are the only animatronics in the entire Final Nights series to start off a night outside. Reaper Puppet appears to be a counterpart to the original series puppet, though it is, um, it's, it's only the Reaper Puppet's head that looks similar to the core series. The rest of its body is a dark shade of black, it has long stretching arms with sharp fingers and at the hands and it, it's kind of like if the green green it's kind of like if the grim reaper had the venom symbiote that's kind of like the texture that the, these limbs kind of give me it has multiple tentacle like legs. It can easily be mistaken for a tree as well, as long as uh, it looks like roots and, you know, the shoulders kind of looking like a branch, okay? But th this thing is creepy. It's always creepy. So I included it on a list that shouldn't really have had fan animatronics, but I was so creeped out that I felt compelled to. Just like how kids at Fazbear Frights are drawn to the restaurants, I was drawn to the Reaper Puppet. And it for Withered Puppet. Okay, so, uh, the puppet has always been one of the most terrifying animatronics to me, and I'm sure plenty of you as well. At least until we found out that the puppet was actually supposed to be, like, the goodest boy. But this version really just horrifies me, and I mean, if I ever met it, I'm sure that it would actually, like, kill me. This is a withered version we have yet to see in the games, uh, luckily, because the puppet's face is all torn up and its body looks as though it's been kind of, like, ground up, like, if you, like, it's like, uh, those, like, shredder videos you know, like 20 pound block of metal versus shredder. It's like that, but it was the puppet instead. It also appears to be uh, just, it has a lot of wires sticking out. The, the teeth in its mouth are equally disturbing. Its wires also seem to be red and blue, unless that's just the lighting, but it still seems to be holding on to a few buttons on its chest somehow, despite having no external skin, really, on its waist. Just a bunch of exposed wire, and that doesn't sit right with me. That, that's, no, no thanks. Getting close to the end in a number three, Monster Vin Vinny. Monster Vinny, also known as Monster Reverse Puppet, is the final antagonist of Five Nights at Candy's 3. He is the monstrous manifestation of Vinny, this game's version of the puppet, but instead of sharing the same eyes as Nightmare Yon and new Vinny, it, this part of the mask is just wide open. The eyes appear to be held up by a metal frame inside of the mask, the jaw appears to be able to move kind of like a dummy, and the mouth contains many sharp teeth, stained red at the tips with what I'm sure is definitely ink. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's it. That's gonna help me sleep at night. Monster Vinny his mask also appears to be aged and like kind of like dirty but like not not aged in a good way like whiskey but like he just bad. He, he sports a blue bow tie with three white buttons, has purple blue coloring on his lips, again reminding me of Riverdale Season 3, which I don't want to talk about, uh, and his hands also seem to come to like points with blood on the ends of it too. I mean ink, it's it's ink. It's red ink. What am I talking about? It's Crayola sponsored. Monster Vinny is also very skinny. Skinnier than me, if you can believe it, or not. Um, but while not the scariest animatronic, the jump scare for Monster Vinny is actually 
pretty damn terrifying. But ultimately, in number two, Havoc Puppet. Havoc Puppet is responsible for the creation of every animatronic in Dormitibus, a FNAF 3 fan game, with the exception of one. Havoc Puppet is formed by a cracked and distorted version of the puppet's original mask, which is missing its lower half. So basically, the jaw up is, or like, a, just the jawline up, that's where you get it. The head has a small hole above the, the place the mouth would be, uh, has two white pupils, which again, that's just creepy. Um, inside empty sockets, which presumably are gateways to the void. The lower missing half of the mask features seven black-like tentacle extensions, like three at the back and four at the front. And then like the side two at the front are used as legs, um, while the other two seem to be like arm app appendages, and then the back three seem to be tails, which is a whole other weird thing. Like why not have them all just be legs for God's sakes? They also got a crack on the top of the head, okay? It's wrong, it looks like a giant messed up spider, and we all know how I feel about spiders. I f hate them, but certainly when it's an animatronic puppet. And finally, in number one, Sinister Puppet. Sinister Turmoil is a fan game of the popular FNAF series, obviously. I mean, like, it, it's kind of obvious at this point. But this game features everything that you'd want from a free roam FNAF game, including multiplayer, your favorite characters from other fan games like Pop Goes and Ignited Freddy. However, the game was ultimately abandoned for various reasons. But the team is still working on their small snippet of the original game called Sinister Turmoil Sewers, which is actually going to be getting an update very soon. Known on the Sinister Turmoil wiki as the Crooked, Sinister Puppet is exactly Exactly like any sinister animatronic, but the puppet. <laughs> This version is very similar to their FNAF 2 form, although uh, a little wider in the face this time around. They have the iconic sharp sinister teeth, which is kind of required by these guys, and just they're all around creepy and just wrong. <laughs> Since there was never really a full game, we can't be certain what their mechanics or role would have been, but they definitely would have been an antagonist. And the eyes on this one are, are sharper and they seem to be squinting, kind of like when Jack gets angry in uh, A Nightmare Before Christmas, which is an overrated movie, but that's a whole other thing. And then he has like the, the classic puppet look aside from that, okay, with just, just a hint of red on the bottom of the teeth, which really drives in the fact that it is going to tear you up to shreds. That's all the time we have for today, friends. Thank Thank you all so much for watching. I have been in Charming Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video as soon as I'm done crying.